So what I want to talk about here is where things can go wrong, okay, and what we got to be careful about. So one of these things, like that thick blood I'm talking about, and also, you know, that um, plaque formation and stuff. Well, you can get also, in addition to that, calcifi calcified plaque, you can get soft forms of plaque, and you can get what's called blood clots, okay? Um, this is what they call a thrombus when it's actually stuck to the vessel, okay? And you see how they can get really big. Well, these things are dangerous. And, excuse me, when um, they break free, it becomes what's called an embolus. And you can, from an embolus, it travels through your body. And if it gets stuck in a thinner, like one of those capillaries or a thinner area, um, particularly like in the lungs or the brain or the heart itself, you, you know, you can end up with heart attack and stroke, really bad stuff. So we don't want this happening. So I'm bringing this in context because when we don't address the source of the issue and we just try to push through it, right? We just try to force the erection to happen with something like, say, ED drugs, for instance. Okay, we're going to force it to happen. Well, the problem is, is it so powerful? Sometimes this happens. Sometimes if you've got this, see, this was never taken care of. The source was never taken care of. So you're trying to treat the symptoms and it's so strong, sometimes this breaks free and you can end up with heart attack and stroke. And that's a couple of things they don't tend to emphasize too much with ED drugs, but this can definitely happen. It does happen. Heart attacks and strokes with it. Um, and especially if you get like heart palpitations, bad headaches. I mean, you got to pay close attention to that, looking at your blood pressure, because this is a very real thing if you're taking ED drugs. So it can break through once again, and if it gets into one of these smaller uh, vessels and it can't travel any for further, then no more oxygen can get through. It, it just kind of kills it off. See, dying muscle right here. It kills it off because there's no more oxygenation because of this blood clot that got thrown in there. Okay, let's say from the ED drug. Well, then all of a sudden, this starts dying off and you get a heart attack. Same thing with stroke, right? It's the same process. It breaks free. And then it gets into a tiny vessel where it can't go any further. And then the brain starts dying off, wherever that is. And there's a lot of, I've seen a lot of stroke patients in my time. And there's a lot of variety with strokes and how bad they can be. And they can be really bad. You definitely don't want this. And here's the other thing. One other thing, like I, I have a new Diamond member who's doing really great. He was, he just starting, but he's already noticing improvements, especially with the sleep, because he was taking ED drugs all the time. And one of the horrible side effects he was having was constant reflux. And I had a friend of mine, same way, said the reflux was just horrible. So he's like taking handfuls of anti-acids, which is just killing his gut. And I, I think it's next week we're going to do this, but I've talked many times on the gut and how important the gut is when it comes to your erections, uh, both your biochemicals. You know, when you're doing this and you're inflaming your gut like this, okay, it's decreasing your testosterone levels for one and your erection biochemicals because of the inflammation and the leaky gut that's happening. Okay, and it, it, it causes your immune system to kick in, which causes your testosterone to tank. It makes it much more difficult to actually get erections, which is ironic. <laughs> the thing you're taking for the erections, the ED drugs, is wrecking the gut, which is killing your natural ability to get erections because of th those two factors, one of which is this erection biochemical factor. It's bringing those down because of this damage to the gut, but also this damage to the gut is affecting the endothelial layers in, in the blood vessel itself, okay? And w once again, see, this is the endothe endothelial layer of the gut. And when that is damaged, that lets stuff into your bloodstream. That's what um, leaky gut is, which inflames the uh, blood vessel, which affects the endothelial layer of the blood vessel. And remember, that's where it all starts, right? Endothelial dysfunction. That's where the whole thing starts, Okay, so when you're wrecking your gut like that with ED drugs or whatever you're doing to wreck your gut, okay, makes a huge difference to your erection biochemicals and your blood vessels.
Okay, I hope that's clear because it's a double whammy. The gut is so important, and ED drugs are very hard on the gut. Okay, now let's look at blood pressure. Blood pressure is very important, and it's you know, tied directly to the heart. If you would like help with your unique and personal situation from us, I put a link below that will explain all the different ways that we can help you get and maintain superior stage four rock solid hardness and lasting power both permanently and naturally at any age. Make sure you like and subscribe for more tips to attain elite level bedroom performance and I will see you in the next one.